Welcome guys to The Black Test. Now this video is all about how skin tone representation actually matches what you really have as your skin tone. And in this video, we'll be comparing the Galaxy S24 Ultra versus the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now, one thing that really amazes me is whenever I share a photo comparison on say Instagram and I ask people which looks best, I get so many different types of responses. Some of them say, hey, the iPhone may look more natural or looks like you, or some may say the Galaxy has a better representation or has maybe slightly more colors or is punchier. But I think no one actually focuses on the right point. Is that my actual skin tone? Is that how I really look on this, on this device? Is that how I really look when I take a photo? And I think that's really important because especially for a lot of people of color, we don't get a lot of good representation for how we look in a lot of smartphone cameras. And I want to see if these two devices actually get close to that mark when we're actually taking photos. So you're gonna join me on a very different camera comparison where I'll be looking at how close my skin tone is represented on each of these two devices and also with a few other people. Uh, but if you wanna see more in-depth camera comparisons when it has to do with things like HDR and um, you know different scene uh, selections, definitely go check out my boys, Danny Winget and Super Saf. They make some really great videos on, on uh, camera comparisons. I am not that guy, but I care about photos myself and I'm sure you guys too so this hopefully will give you a good idea. So let's start off with the first set of photos and see what we have. So this is what my skin tone looks like. This is a screen recording of the S24 Ultra and the iPhone 15 Pro Max, giving you a, an idea of where our baseline should be. You can see there's a lot of separation between different levels of what my skin tone should be. Now this very first image is a selfie and it's a really good representation of my skin tone uh, for both images. Yes, there are two separate images. One is from the Galaxy and the other is from the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And I like the fact that you can see the separation also with the shadow being cast on the left side of my face. You can also see that quite clearly. Now, as we move to the next image, here you now see some of, some of those changes. The Galaxy keeps the same representation from the previous image, while the iPhone has darkened uh, spots up either on the left-hand side or even right below my lip, closer to uh, my beard. Now, my hand has a much better representation than what the Galaxy is doing there, but you know what? Let's move to the next image. Now, this one is interesting. I'm outside, it's 1X, it's portrait uh, photo, and you can see that on the iPhone, I have a much darker skin tone. Even though, yes, the color of my shirt is correct, uh, or it's closer to what it should be than the Galaxy, but the Galaxy just has a much better look. As we zoom in closer, you can see my face is much darker than what we've previously set, set up as our baseline compared to what the Galaxy S24 Ultra does, which is much closer to what my skin tone should be. Now, as we move to the next image here, this is a 5X portrait photo, and I do like what the iPhone is doing here. It's still darker overall, while the, the Galaxy is a little bit lighter, but has a hazy feel around the 5X uh, photo here. Maybe that's just what it is. But again, I think it's a solid job from both of them. Now, this is Taylor Lloyd. She makes some really great content on Instagram and YouTube, so go follow her and check her out. Uh, her skin tone complexion is actually closer to a middle here, but I wanted to just bring somebody else as a different representation. What I do like what the Galaxy is doing is the light coming in is reflected on her, and it shows while the iPhone has darkened her hair at the back which makes it look darker. But again, both images are solid, but I do like the fact that the Galaxy is taking advantage of that sunlight hitting the back of her head and on top of her hair. So that is something to take note as we look at skin tones throughout this video. Now, the next image here is one that I just wanna check out. This is, of course, uh, the sun hitting Taylor really hard. It's a uh, golden hour, and you can see how harsh it is. I think the Galaxy does a better job here but then again, I'm not faulting either device because this is just not an ideal setting for these kind of photos. Now, 
uh, we have Tech Me Out here, and I wanted to introduce a third person, another third person of color, to showcase what uh, the phone does. You can see what the Galaxy is doing compared to the iPhone. The iPhone has completely darkened me to kind of balance out uh, both Tech Me Out and Taylor, while the Galaxy has kept my skin tone closer to what it should be and kept uh, Taylor and Tech Me Out. Uh, balanced as well. Now, when we move to this other photo here, this is just a photo on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. That is Frank. He's a great TikTok creator. And uh, I wanted to add somebody else who is much lighter, you know, a white person, just to give a different balance here. And you can see my skin tone is still really solid. It has made Frank a little bit much better more paler than he is but i think the overall balance of the picture with everyone is still really good now when we move over to the iphone image here you can see how everything just darkened up really fast i am much darker um it does do a good job in balancing uh taylor tech me out and frank uh frank i think is closer to his skin tone color but I, of course, am taken out of the fray here and I lose out in this image when it comes to skin tone representation. So you get an idea of what I'm talking about and how it's really important how your skin tone matches, especially for people of color, um, when taking photos with, you know, for smartphones. All right, some indoor shots with uh, some TikTok legends. Of course, we got Miles and uh, Parker here. And you can see that, of course, this low light image, um, I think everyone's reputation is pretty solid. I think the iPhone does a better job here than uh, the Galaxy. Galaxy, I do look a little bit darker, but I think it's it, they've both done a really good job in trying to balance out in the lighting condition. Now, here's another shot, low light outside, taken by uh, Tech Me Out and Taylor. I think here the Galaxy has done a better job in balancing them out. I know the other second image felt a little shaky, but you can see just uh, just on the skin tones, they look a little bit darker there than they usually do. Moving to an indoor night shot with, of course, a lot of lighting. At first glance, the iPhone image looks really nice and the Galaxy looks a little bit too bright, but in terms of the brightness, that was the brightness of the room. Now we look at skin tone representation, getting closer, you can see the Galaxy has a much better skin tone iPhone continues to do this browning of my skin and also less detail there. Same thing with this a second image here. Again, the room is well lit. Um, and uh, in terms of just general image composition, they both look pretty good. But as we go ahead and we move closer and zooming in, you can see, again, I have just one shade of color more on the iPhone, which is all brown, while the Galaxy is more detail and more separation of colors. Now, this shot here was interesting. I wanted to do something indoors, uh, wear uh, some, a little darker clothing. And you can see right there, the iPhone has made me just darker. I look just one shade of brown, as opposed to having a lighter and darker, you know, skin patches, if you will. Same thing with this other shot here. That first shot was in 1X. Uh, this here was a 2X shot. Uh, and you can see what the iPhone has done is darkened me again, uh, especially facially on this photo. And this last shot here at 5X, you can clearly see the iPhone is really taking that darkness to a larger or higher level, where um, I have truly just one color shade, while the while the uh, Galaxy S20 24 Ultra has uh, just more complexity with the shades. And also you can see, um, you know, my little, my color differences, if you will. Now, this also applies to an outdoor shot year. It was snowing. I figured I should just take one shot quickly. And you can see the iPhone's photo is just darker. I It looked like I'm blending more with the jacket, inside of my jacket, as opposed to what the Galaxy is doing, which is just more separated and balanced. Now, this is a 5X shot here you're looking at. And this shot here, um, I think it's solid. It's cool. This is on the Galaxy S20. 24 Ultra, as we look at this shot, we can see that, yes, my skin tone's gone a little bit darker because of the distance. Um, it's not as bright. Same thing here with the iPhone. Uh, I think both images look very similar. And again, my skin tone's a bit darker. I actually prefer this over the One X image uh, from the iPhone itself. So overall, I think the Galaxy does a better job at representing my skin tone. Now the iPhone uh, 15 Pro Max tends to darken my skin tone quite a bit, but it's an easy fix and something that, you know, when you go into the Photos app and you hit just 
auto adjust it actually goes ahead and it does a much better job so i think it just needs a software tweak but that is what i have right now and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you think that i'm wrong leave your thoughts down below if you want to see more videos like this uh, more of the black test uh let me know guys i will keep on doing it otherwise don't forget to like share subscribe and always enjoy your entertainment